Hey good people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. What's going on? And uh, today I'm going to be doing a fragrance house that I don't think I ever talked about before and these are extremely expensive posh line of fragrance community, right? So this is Louis Vuitton and I am not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct but I am not very strong with my French pronunciation. So I'm really sorry, this is going to be like an episode of very premium luxury products and I have like a lot of samples here. Yay, I got a bag. Ta -na -na -na. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so if, if I just go in, I have like about <clears throat> 11 samples, my handful of samples if I take out. There are plenty more in there. As many chocolate candy bars you can take. Anyway, so they are like total in 11 and I don't want to do 11 episodes. I want to do like a five or four. So I'm going to basically covering like each episode, two fragrances and these are official samples and these are not uh, cheap. These fragrances are very expensive and the samples are being sold at 11 $12 plus shipping on eBay. So not cheap for one last time. So these fragrances, I have chosen two fragrances. I'm not sure how the names go. I mean, I checked the reviews, but I think I forgot. One, the first one we're going to be talking about is I think... Uh, Matea, Matea Noir, I think there is the, the, that's the, the French, I, my best effort at French take, but it's Matea Noir, other one's gonna be, I think, Nouveau Mon, okay, so these are my best attempts, okay, so I'm apologizing if you can read, so you can try out the fragrances, okay, so let's go one by one, so these ones, first of all, uh, let me tell you some detailing, these fragrances have 100 and 200 ml bottles, huge bottles there, and they come in very premium packaging and I have seen prices like $400, $238 so I guess these are 100 ml versus 200 ml prices, not cheap at all. Uh, second thing is I think these are designer brands, you guys know Louis Vuitton, like they are well known for most premium handbags in the world, like you talk about Porsche, you talk about Lamborghini, okay, cars like premium cars that only riches can afford, this is a rich house for rich people. So each handbag is like I have heard they have go like crazy pricing guys you know like you can buy a car with that parts or something so i'm not very specialized with handbags but i am gonna let you know their fragrances and i'm gonna keep it strictly not owed by the f brand or whatever i'm gonna keep it strictly with the smell okay and the thing they do give you a very nice presentation i don't have full presentation you can see other reviews they give you something like a dior's uh, uh premium preview collection kind of packaging and then uh, it's inside a box it takes like a uh, like about long time to take it off it's a little bit difficult i saw a review and also the bottles i think are sprayable at first i thought they were splash but they have sprayable bottles so 100 and 200 ml bottles and these fragrances i think can be bought at uh, louis vuitton uh, official like boutique or i think some personal sellers are selling but these are not widely available so you have to really be careful where you buy your fragrances from so let's go i think uh, we're gonna go with um, Mathieu noir um, this one these samples are really like really nice these are like two ml samples and they open from here just like the packaging let me show you I'm wearing them both on my hand just for reviewing so it opens like that the sample stays inside very premium and this even samples this uh, what you call the sprayer and everything these are very good as well so let's see these are concentration wise EDP okay so this hand I'm wearing that uh, Mathieu Noir let's go and tell you what we are supposed to get. Both these fragrances I'm about to review have some common elements, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, they're spraying like a little bit right now, but when I sprayed for the first time, it sprayed a lot of juice, okay? So this perfume um, is a very beautiful, sensual sort of, I think, uh, mostly it feels like a women's perfume, but when you smell it on the dry down, it goes kind of like unisex. So it's neither uh, very feminine, nor very masculine, okay? very beautiful opening guys you know this perfume has very beautiful opening it has really like let me tell you the notes uh, let's just go black currant watery accords cyclamen i think it's a floral rose oud incense jasmine sambac okay uh, so these are kind of like their prominent notes and i can tell you one thing i can pick up most of the notes so the most prominent note that stands out in this perfume is the black currant first thing you spray the fruits oh it's like the black currant is a very uh, beautiful fruity note. I think black currant the first time I encounter was Creed's Aventus and even the women's version, I think they have it. But this perfume, in short, I saw a comment, I'm like, 
I, my mind is it wrong but I was looking for a comment that someone would suggest this as well this one smells like something that Tom Ford would make you know like the quality wise if you compare I'm not calling this a clone or that one is a clone but it has a lot of uh, common elements with Noir de Noir you know like also a little bit of Noir extreme you know those beautiful rose that pops up I think Noir de Noir is more closer to it it's just lovely guys it's just the depth you can tell the quality you know I don't know if $400 is something I can ever spend on a perfume but this is nice this is noise you know it's noise <laughs> like if you love Tom Ford you're gonna love this perfume that's it that's that's that easy as it as easy as gets okay then the rose basically it's not um, there is rose oud combination but it's very smooth it's not like a Middle Eastern kind this both these fragrances do not smell like Middle Eastern agar oud so it smells more westernized polished and a lot of other uh, supporting actors or players rather on top of this wood rose combo so you get kind of like some florals jasmine you get some this i don't know what are the florals like jasmine is the one i can detect surrounding the rose and then the black carrot is really nice and it's kind of freshen out with that watery accord so pretty damn nice you know this really really uh, tasty fragrance it's almost can be categorized as gourmand i don't know if there's anything other else uh, but the fruity note make it sort of like a gourmand fresh floral oud and rose based fragrance so even if you're not a big fan of rose oud combo like if you're thinking this is gonna be dior's uh uh oud ispahan it's much lighter much easier much uh what you call wearable oud than those fragrances okay the next one is gonna be a little bit more darker so more than the oud oud is just like a third perhaps the prominent note but mostly black currant rose and then jasmine then maybe the oud okay very beautiful fragrance i was wearing it uh, the punch from this it feels like it's gonna be long lasting but it's not like uh, that kind of oud rose combo saffron combo that gets you sick okay no saffron on this so you can wear this very high class occasion people can smell your fragrance and they will know sensual sexy kind of like a darkened rose with that supportive black current very playful okay i would definitely highly recommend this but uh, i was i would personally pay ten dollars to get a sample before i buy this whole bottle because these are going to be expensive right so yeah louis vuitton first one matia noir matia noir thumbs up i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 yay <laughs> so next one um, louis vuitton another thing is louis vuitton we used to like my i'm just sharing whatever knowledge i have regarding this because these are very posh uh if you know russell peters stand-up comedy he was had this episode where you know chinese and indians having an argument about the brand and then uh, he's like uh how do you how do you even pronounce the name and they rip off the name and then they make a lot of fakes so they're like louis vuitton it's like uh louis vuitton just watch the episode it's funny so anyway uh, next one we're going to be talking about is uh i wrote down the name so i do not make too much butchery out of these names okay nouveau mont i think i saw sebastian zara's review so this is the one second one these are all same packaging of every single sample so I really decided to take my time to review these because there are so many. So I don't want to get lost, you know, or confused. So this is another rosewood based fragrance. Opens up the same way, so I'm not showing you. I'm going to fresh spray this. I'll tell you about what it smells like. And here we go. I think this one is a better sprayer. Fingers crossed. No, that's rock. Fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah, you see? See? Beautiful. I was just telling you, this thing's very nice. So yeah, ooh, ooh. When you spray it even for the small sample you know like <clears throat> this is another beautiful creation okay but i'll tell you before i start reviewing this one thing is if you are new in fragrance game and you are just exploring freshies and more new savoir i always give it like a you know like one standard like you know you study with dill and blue savoir whatever your starting point is let's see like more fresh and easy going safe perfumes these fragrances will not be for you on most part because these are expensive and these are very very accurate taste because oud rose is something i couldn't take for the first two years i did not become a very good big fan of oud i discovered oud somewhere late 2018 that's when i started loving oud so this is a rose oud combo and boy this is a bold perfume this is much more louder than matia noir and even if i, I don't even have to do this i smelled it the moment i sprayed it okay the quality is just top notch because I really believe they use real agarwood in this. Okay, and this fragrance reminds me of something I'll tell you. But the prominent notes are rose, agarwood, cacao, leather, saffron, caramel, vanilla, and these are their prominent notes. So yeah, you can see if they are. 
are making fragrance expensive, they are actually putting quality to it, not just name. They are not just uh, riding on like a brand name. So if you really want to buy these, these are, I think they have in total have 20 plus or 25 plus fragrance in their collection. So a lot of fragrances. You don't want to buy everything unless you are still the rich, okay? <laughs> so this one, okay, here's the thing. For oud and rose lovers, you might think this is another rose oud combo. Wrong. This fragrance is not another rose oud fragrance. This is done really, really smooth. It's no uh, skankiness. There is a uh, distinctive uh, uh, stink of oud that is like, you know, stink not in a bad sense, but the oud, the way people describe it, like, you know, oud, how does it come from? Agar oud comes from the infection of the particular tree, and then, you know, you just uh, process it. If you watch some oud, agar oud, uh, like, what you call, documentaries, you'll see how it happens. But oud is naturally, if it's natural, it's going to be smelling a lot, really daring, dark, and kind of stinky. And that's the beauty of it, you know. So this fragrance includes some other notes rather than just rose and the oud and saffron they have included incense so when i smell it first time it actually does uh you know like the other notes you know they'll pop up the caramel the gourmand notes the leather will pop up later but it's very dark so those leather is another layer that is very dark so this one it's for people who are really into dark fragrances it's very gothic and it's like uh, the rose is very dark as well it's it feels unisex because Middle Eastern countries, I think this will be very, very suitable. But I'll tell you one thing. This is not as loud or as wild horse as Middle Eastern Rosewood combo would be. The first fragrance that came to my mind, much more simpler version than this, but uh, much more oud in that. That is Rasasi Asra Indonesia. That is the Borouge line, the highest line of Rasasi. Most premium natural oud. This one reminds me of that oud quality. But that one was not so complex. That was just pure, pure, like soul full of uh, agarud this one uh, i think if you are this is a little bit different than matia noir because this is a lot more fruity this one has not much fruits but it has a sweet little opening that is rose make no mistake there is a prominent rose if you do not love rose this fragrance will not work for you simple as that okay so the thing is i can detect the layers you know it, it unveils like stages by stage by stage and i think this is a very nice complex yet easy to wear fragrance if you like rose and wood this is going to be very smooth kind of fragrance will last you easily easily over eight to ten hours okay very good uh, longevity on the skin and there's nothing cheap about our alcoholic blast so these are good quality perfumes so other than that the caramel vanilla and then the i think the cacao these are going to be uh, sort of like on the more on the dry down and if you do like uh, fragrances kind of like uh, dark and sweet and kind of like durum intense liege this fragrance will be really good but if you're not a big fan of rose with saffron combo this fragrance you may not like okay just sample just get a sample like these you will see and you can get to experience 2ml juice i think it's a good experience to try something new so overall uh, the first one i'm giving it 10 this one I, I want to give it 10 because it's so good, guys. You know, I, I don't want to lie to you. These are all more or less, I think, going to be very premium, uh, high quality fragrance, but uh, less, just uh, strictly uh, wearability factor and versatility. I think I'm giving this like 8.5 out of 10. I like the first one, Matia Noir, because I love fruity, uh, more sweeter fragrance. This is good. This is oud standard wise, this is 10. But if I'm going to be wearing this out of these two, I think I'm going to be wearing Matia Noir a lot more. So, yeah, 8. 8.5 this is 10 matia noir and the other one is uh, nouveau mon is getting 8.5 thanks for watching guys and i'll be trying to finish them up uh, very very soon see you soon have a very nice day bye bye